you can launch whenever you'd like. There we go. Can I please move the window? No. Truly the spookiest of games. I can't fucking... <sighs> Bruh, come on. Oh god, no. Don't do that now. Oh, fucking shit. Why? Why is that what takes you so long? I... How jank does this look on OBS? Not very. Okay, cool. That is honestly surprising. Because... I thought it would be jank as heck. Alright, hold on. I'm getting my shit. No talk to a man called Francis Sanders before dying in full view. The detective he accused Sarah Hawkins of being a cause of his torments. Pierce finally left the accursed building, accompanied by Bradley and Colden. Decided to use Hawkins' mansion as a hideout. Okay. So now we're back in the... What is your problem? Who goes there? That nightmare again. I need a drink. You really don't need a drink, dog. Man is turn with their lives. Those who feel jaded are less precise than what I'll find evidence. Sounds like they're coming from over here. Despite all evidence that that should be a door, it's not. No. I want to know what Bradley and Dr. Colden have to say about all this. I thought they were down there. Oh, they're over here. The acoustics of this game don't make the most sense. Not gonna lie. You're awake, Mr. Pierce. How do you feel? Did I sleep long? The day is only starting. It's fine. What happened to your legs? This place looks a lot cheerier when the weather is not garbage. Uh, I guess I need to How's talk to you. How's our fugitive? Dr. Fuller hasn't reported your disappearance to the force, but that'll come soon. Bradley? Who else would it be? Mr. Pierce, are you alright? You look like you saw a ghost. I... Th there are things I can't explain. Tell us. What happened? Uh. I can't do that. Talk to Bradley. I heard you talking earlier. Why am I not surprised? I get the impression you two don't get along. Intrusive and not very clever. Anyway, 
Let's get back to the business at hand. What I'm sure of now is that the Hawkins case isn't just an accident. And what brings you to that conclusion? The fact that Charles Hawkins survived the fire. I don't understand. Mr. Hawkins was buried. That's uh. what he would have you believe. I have a hard time believing you. You didn't see You were see there, this? Bradley. You even opened fire on him. I'd remember that. Why would he fake his own death? Do you think he covered up his wife's murder? That's possible. Seems hard to swallow. Don't you have anything more concrete, Pierce? Bradley, what do you remember? I don't understand your question. The night we went into the Hawkins mansion, you don't seem to remember the tunnels and what occurred there. I have no memory of going down any tunnel. No, we were in the manor, then, uh... Then what? I, uh, remember. The rest is quite blurry. I don't recall how I came back home. And then? I went to visit you at the hospital. And called on Marie's help to get you released. And you don't remember the events of the tunnel? I don't. Let's talk about something else. I have flashbacks. They haunt me. What did they do to you? There was that doctor, Fuller, and a nurse. Blood everywhere. My legs, the pain, I, I couldn't bear it. I was screaming. They injected me with something. I woke up at the Institute. Bradley was there. And how you scared us. You seemed... demented. You likely woke up during the anesthesia. No wonder those memories haunt you. What in God's name were they doing to you? What happened afterwards? When I woke up the second time, I was in a padded cell. That's where you found me, Doctor. After you released me, I got a good look at what's in store for the patients of the Riverside Institute. Hallucinogenic gas pumped into the cells. An infernal machine. Horrific medical experiments. Impossible. Dr. Fuller would never do such a thing. You should believe it, Ethan. What Mr. Pierce saw is precisely what I've been trying to prove. Did you discover anything else? I found a file bearing Sarah Hawkins' name in the Institute's basement. It makes sense. A powerful family like the Hawkins had the means to hide such a disgrace. But everyone knows the Fullers have been taking care of the Hawkins for at least a generation. And all were aware of Mrs. Hawkins' fragility. Perhaps, but no one would allow a psychiatric internment. From what I read in the file, Fuller used her as a subject of his experiments. Uh, Francis Sanders and Sarah Hawkins, subjects of Dr. Fuller. Why those two? Dr. Fuller seems to be leaving a trail of corpses. Not to mention those strange machines, chains, and tools of all kinds. Yes, I've been telling you that Fuller uses his patients as guinea pigs. What I saw was more akin to torture than medicine. Do you even hear what you're saying? Dr. Fuller is highly respected. Nah. It's the truth, Ethan. And I'll prove it to you. I'm listening, Mr. Pierce. Given the energy he pours into Riverside, I presume it was Fuller's creation. His father's, to be correct. He was a surgeon on board the Scylla. He founded the hospital in 1904 with funds from the Hawkins family before he died and his son Thomas Fuller took over. Two families mm. inextricably linked. Most island families are that way. Captain Fitzroy's father was also a seaman aboard the Scylla. Powerful families dominating everything. Yes, and as you could tell, Dr. Fuller is like some crazed emperor. He wouldn't be happy if he knew we were snooping around. I know the risks. I don't fear him. 
Do you wish to know anything else? Yeah, I wish I wish to know a lot. I'm disappointed that I can't do that. Can I back out? I think I have to do I, this. I met a Francis Sanders. You know him. Of course. He's a patient. Or was. I haven't seen him since Dr. Fuller had him transferred to the basement. He knew Sarah Hawkins. And that's what killed him. What? How did he die? I'm not sure I can explain it. Tell me how Mr. Sanders died. I mean, most most deaths are a crisis of some definition. That's not really specific. I think we just gotta be honest here. I didn't see what, but something was there with us. Of what do you speak? Sanders said it was Sarah Hawkins' visitor. He spoke of it like a living being. Sarah Hawkins? Have I missed something here? This makes no sense. I don't see how it can help crack the Hawkins case. You really think she's involved? How could she have murdered Mr. Sanders? Francis Sanders mentioned Mrs. Hawkins just before dying. It's no coincidence. You know, Francis Sanders was a well-known art collector. Ah. I guess you can still pay a visit to his wife, Irene Sanders. An art collector, you say? That's probably how they met. If you plan on having dinner at the Sanders household, please spare the widow the tale of her late husband's suffering. I don't agree. She deserves the truth. But that truth may be biased. We don't know the bottom of it. <sighs> He's right. We can't ignore the truth. But it could drive her mad. Better madness than ignorance. Very well. I'll go to see Francis's widow. Perhaps I'll find a link between her husband's death and Sarah Hawkins. Don't end up in the hospital this time. <laughs> I'll do my best. So... God damn it. I need to find more medicine books. Talk to Sanders' widow. No, we're not drinking. I can't believe I missed medical shit. I thought I was so thorough. I guess I'm not as thorough as I could have been. There were risks I didn't take. did go live, right? That would be embarrassing. Yeah, no, I'm live. Okay, good. It's just a quiet night.
What can I do for you, sir? Mrs. Sanders, I'm a private detective. We must talk about your husband and his ties to Sarah Hawkins. Can I come in? You may. Damn. However, oh, before fancy. we go any further, please know that my husband died yesterday. That is precisely what brings me here. Well, well. Look who's here. You know each other. We met briefly. Time enough to iron out a few matters. The main thing is that we understood one another. The brave detective has a talent for sticking his nose into my business. I bump into her every time I'm investigating someone's death. It's a small island, detective. My island. It's better that it's you bumping into me. You're investigating Francis' death. Why? Who hired you? I spoke to Francis before he died. His story suggests a link to a case I'm working on. Well, since this business has got nothing to do with me, I'll be in your husband's office, Irene. We'll carry on later. Very well, Miss Baker. This way, Mr. Pierce. And do make yourself comfortable. It would seem that you have much to tell me. You do not seem torn up about your husband's death at all. May I inquire as to when you had the opportunity to talk to my husband? Yesterday. As he was dying. I met him at the hospital. He spoke to me about Sarah Hawkins. Oh, of course he spoke to you about her. That's all he talked about. Sarah Hawkins and her paintings. Please forgive my tone. The fact is that I have not been allowed to see him since he was interned. You, on the other hand, a perfect stranger, were able to see him and even talk with him the day he died. How was he? Were you present when he had this attack? What happened? What happened to your husband is terrible, Mrs. Sanders. But from what I saw, it was inevitable. The man I met yesterday had lost his reason. He suffers no longer, if you would allow me such a platitude. Of course. Thank you for your kind words. Nobody in that hospital would have deigned to speak them to me. However, it will require more than that to soothe my mind. I need to understand. Yeah. How, how could this happen? In a reputed institute? And, and right before your eyes. Did you not do anything to help him? Yeah, there wasn't much I could do. So ask Fuller, he's the eminent doctor. But I would caution you, you'll find his treatments more terrifying than the illnesses he sets out to cure. That churl no longer takes the trouble to receive me. He sends his secretary to tell me that I cannot see Francis. Me. His own widow. He must think that I am a terrible wife for having abandoned him in such a way. But I only wanted what was best for him. I'm not here to condemn you, Mrs. Sanders. Oh, I'm tired, Mr. Pierce. I would be grateful if you could tell me what you expect of me, and then leave. Did your husband talk to you about Sarah Hawkins' visitor? A shambler, to use his precise terms. <laughs> well, you can't imagine that's all he talked about. It's exhibited at the center of the gallery. No better place for the painting that endowed him with the privilege of such a shameful and miserable end to his life. Hold on. The Shambler is a painting by Sarah Hawkins. Oh. Who else to paint such horrors? Take a look for yourself. If you feel so inclined. It is my only lead at this stage. I suppose I have nothing to lose. Then you have paid no heed. For my part, I refuse to set foot in that gallery again. But if you are so eager to see it, I would urge you to make the most of your visit. Because I count on ridding myself of that thing as soon as I can. Thank you, Mrs. Sanders. I won't be long. 
I'm not done talking with you. Oh. Well, I guess fuck me then. Did she really care for him after all? I don't know if she did. She doesn't seem super... Like... She doesn't seem torn up about this at all. Dear Madam, I acknowledge receipt of the letter in which you demand the body of your deceased husband. I'm sorry to inform you that I cannot agree to return his body to you. At the moment of his internment, you signed a discharge, allowing me to dispose of his body as I see fit. I extend my deepest condolences to you. Hmm. That's sketch as fuck. Yo, Thunder Kitty, what's up? I can play the piano, but why? The day the Shambler came into the Sanders' lives. Ugh. Interesting. A house of artists. That's all you have to say. A house of artists. Okay, that's all you have to say. Frances Sanders and Sarah Hawkins were close. Friends, even? I mean... Were people doing things they shouldn't have been doing? Is this the point of view of a cat? May as well be. It's like the investigation thing. Just scanning everything. A lot of pictures. Not nice. Sanders' accession register. He wrote beside the Shambler. Finally, hmm. what did Sarah Hawkins fear so much that she didn't want to sell a painting? That's a bit... It's a bit sketch. He finally won. Was Sanders aware of his imminent doom? Would you want a painting that badly? She despises Sarah Hawkins, but it's the painting she truly hates. Why? I don't know. This is all very... Hmm. She didn't want Sanders to have the painting. She must have felt devastated. I make it then. Ah! The Shambler. I need to see it. What the fuck? Oh, hey. Cool. I found medicine. Where was medicine when I needed medicine? Not there, I tell you. I, uh, I was just fucking around. Is this dagger part of Sanders' collection, or was he seeking to acquire it? <laughs> um, uh, oh, okay. Art and mysticism, forgotten objects. Is a collection written by Francis Sanders. San what? Francis Sanders. In it, he catalogs uh, and categorizes objects from all ages and origins that are linked to the occult or mystical practices. He's open to the page of a dagger, the greatest symbol that is not known to man. 
Looks like a magic circle of some kind. Uh, I hadn't meant to do that, but cool. You look really uncomfortable, but yeah, you would. I gotta actually look at the artwork here, fuck. Let's see what this cylinder has to say once it's inserted in a phonograph. It looks like it had Lovecla Lovecraft's face on it. Hello. Irene, I made a mistake. I fear that it might be too late for the me. Cylinder was one of those snakes Nobody that popped out when you opened the can. <laughs> except to burn everything. I never had the courage. Pay somebody to do it. He's inside my head. I see him behind my eyelids each time I shut my eyes. I can't take any more. I can't hold him back. Forgive me. That accursed gallery, those accursed paintings, that accursed Sarah. Sorry, I'm just going through very, very methodically. Don't want to miss anything. That's, a, that's not a thing. I don't know why that's there. That looks above board. That's a bit weird, but I'll allow it. clear thing to do would be go here. What's your business? That's twice you've stepped on my toes, detective. Try not to make a habit of it. I've got a lot of bad habits. Some can be more fatal than others. What have you come looking for in this gallery? I'm not here to cause trouble, if that's what's worrying you. Worry me? Don't overestimate yourself. If the last beating wasn't enough for you, I can always give it another go. But as long as you keep out of my way, you're free to carry on with your visit. Why are you here? And you? What brings you to the Sanders home? I'm here on business. Irene asked me to liquidate all these paintings. She doesn't intend to hang around here for long. Why you? Believe it or not, there aren't many collectors on Darkwater. It needs someone with a network, and a means of transport to the mainland. That's a choice fair. that comes down to Fitzroy and me. And I'm far more pleasant, wouldn't you say? Mm. Not now, sweetheart. I'd like to read this without some snoop looking over my shoulder. Uh, fuck you. Strange. For months, Sarah Hawkins refused to part with her painting, to finally give it away for nothing. Thank you to give all hope of other things. Owning this correct painting, if our friendship has any meaning to you, please spare me the weight of guilt. I cannot be the architect of your fall. Then why make it? A strange Amerindian pendant. I could use one of those. Hmm. Where on the cod, dark water? Interesting. Did 
Kia Sanders Gallery. Nice. Would you read the book? Read the book. This will affect your destiny. Ah, oh, good. Monsters of unknown creatures and beginning to believe they exist. Oh, it's a bestiary. Ah, I am now less sane. Great. What upsets me is I started with volume two. Where's volume one? Dissertation on anatomical question. Lack the expertise of an experienced physician. However, the questions I'll ask him. Okay. Nice. God, this place is not the greatest. Why would I need to do that? These artifacts date from pre-Columbian times. These artifacts date from pre-Columbian times. Okay. Those glow. I think Homeboy was fucking around with shit that was better left to sleep. Hmm. That's all you have to say? Hmm? Things are not much lookers, aren't they? These artifacts date from pre Columbian times. I know that, but why would you just give me a hmm? Okay. Anything on the ceiling? I've been neglecting the ceilings. Oh. The man transforms an entire wing of his manor into an art gallery. Yeah, I was about to say this is quite the use of space, and I'm not sure if this is how. I'm sorry. Um, not sure this is quite how I would use it. Oh boy, that's not nice either. Uh, let's see. Oh, great. That's oil for a lantern. Which means I might need that. In combination with the hiding spot, I am not enthusiastic about that. Right, let me go in here and just make sure I've got all of my ducks in a row here. Why was he so interested in old weapons? I don't know, dog. Uh... Hmm. Oh, great. Oh, great. Oh, fantastic. This place has way too many paintings. It, it really do. Okay. The public entrance to the gallery. The public entrance to the gallery. Why would there be a public entrance? Okay. Go take a hike, detective. Okay, fuck you too. Oh, hello. An old diary. Reverend Rickwood's community. His wife expresses her worried about the strange dreams the Reverend's congregation are having since their arrival on the island. Begin to speak of their vision of some messengers sent by God. She's scared that they will suffer the same fate as the lost tribe. Interesting. He 
don't want to examine the Shambler. Alright, but I really think I've gone through every other square inch of this place. Except for apparently that one part. I guess I got distracted by her. Which is not difficult, but... Did this, did that, none of this lights up. Where was I? Oh, it was there. No wonder I thought it was just PCV. this. Unless they plan on donating their place to the public to see how much their life sucks. These pieces of art do not spark joy. Oh, right. I know about that. Okay. Now I'm guessing all this shit's gonna become problems for me in a minute. charges people to walk around these places. I know. I've seen them. I don't approve of them. Uh, that painting is not friendly. You should not be here. Don't look up. What the hell was that? Oh, the shambler. Oh, okay, okay, okay. Artist objective, no need to run to the tower. Maybe I can use this dagger. Uh, okay. First, let's go in here. It's probably a good call. No, that was my bad. Why don't they always look down? I have no idea. Gosh, buddy heart is subjective. No need to run into her. Good lord. Okay, we don't need to see this whole sequence again. What the hell was that?
use. Uh, I can't even touch it. Well, that's a bit of a problem now, isn't it? <laughs> What the hell was that? Okay, so clearly I'm missing something here. The sound design does not help me find him. Either I'm wearing my headphones what backwards the hell was that? Or, or something. But I need to know where this fucker is. Hey, 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 hey. In the thing, in the thing. Ah, young boy. chilling there like a douche understand what to do there. What the hell was that? Touch it. Okay, let's go in here again. Cause I bet that attracted that motherfucker. Yep. You don't know where I am. Go the fuck away.
I missing? What the hell was that? He's just gonna shamble on by. He's somewhere. Damn. Maybe. I can use this dagger. monster he used to find a painting they really like meet another monster and they hit it off they go on a date guess is as good as mine Shit. I can't even touch it Just don't touch the door. What the hell was that? Won't let you use the knife? I don't know what it wants me to do with the knife. dagger did nothing. What the hell was that? This is where I wish, like, 
chaos or smiles were here because they probably know what to do. And I don't know. gave me lantern oil. I don't understand why they gave me lantern oil. What the hell was that? Do I set the painting on fire? take the knife and use it to deface the painting? chill. Down. Maybe I can use this dagger. Open the thing, because you know he's coming. to do. Now what the hell was that? Now it's just a matter of execution. Literally. Damn. Maybe I can use this dagger. What?
What the hell was that? Down. Maybe I can use this dagger. Oh, I just chose the wrong ass. I'm so confused. What the hell was that? Was it because he was aggro? I don't get this. Damn. Maybe I can use this dagger. I think I have to do this. Don't get stuck here. I feel like this should be easy. What the hell was that? And I'm a little embarrassed that it's not easy for me. Damn, maybe I can use this dagger. So he's gonna come in.
he's probably coming in here because he's probably seen me. smiles. I'm having a hell of a time trying to figure out what to do here. Use a specific dagger. You can't be serious. I know you're very to use a specific dagger? What the hell was that? A specific dagger. What a cute monster, right? <laughs> in front of me. This audio is so confusing. No, you're behind me. Oh, please don't be where I I'm sure this isn't supposed to be trial and error. The only thing I can think of... What the hell was that? Is that I'm supposed to use my lantern in some way to inform the decision of what fucking thing I choose, but like... Being real... Great, 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 great. No. 
believe in you, but I must disappear for a moment. Not a problem. Nothing will probably change. What the hell was that? And I don't have much time to like, because I do have to go to work tomorrow. I have to go in, actually. means the fucker is right behind me. I don't know. Damn! Maybe I can use this dagger.
actually no clue. You saw me go in here, didn't you? Oh. Probably should have made a run for it. You're gonna keep me in here for a long ass time, aren't you? Just go away. Okay. I don't like this. Bullshit. What the hell was that? Alright, so I feel like I've tried every knife in my goddamn room. It's not one of those. That did scare not. Grr. What the hell was that? Say, <sighs> Ara. 
right to check it out. Even if I say. What's the matter with you? You sure you won't be needing that hand? You're losing it, Detective. At this rate, you're right. The bottle will get you before I do. You didn't I, see anything. I haven't drank. I saw you within an inch of putting a dagger through your forearm. Did I miss something more interesting? Uh, the painting was cursed. Sanders was right. This painting is cursed. What are you talking about? I was attacked by a creature. I pushed it back, I think. I... I think so, too. Uh... You knew? You knew? You knew about the beast. What are you talking about? Think yourself lucky that I saved your hand, even if it was to save my goods. You mean me. Don't flatter yourself, sweetheart. I'm talking about the contents of this gallery. And by the way, where do you think you're going with that dagger? It saved my life. It's an extraordinary dagger. You should talk to Algernon Drake. He's an antique dealer here on Darkwater. He'll tell you all about it. From what I saw in the ledgers, it was him who sold it to Sanders. Okay. Uh, I should really talk to this guy. The creature. This dagger was the only weapon capable of pushing it back. If Hawkins was trying to get rid of this shambler, she might have made contact with Drake. This antique dealer has a good knowledge of the occult. I have nothing to lose by meeting him. You've got your spunk back. Go where you want. I'm staying here to talk business with Irene. Okay. Oh.
Where is the bookseller? That's your question? Not why is there blood on the door and why is it unlocked? I guess to you those are all... The Freud's same. The Interpretation of Dreams. It's the work that laid the foundations of psychoanalysis at the beginning of this century. It was mostly wrong. Wait, have I failed to... I have eight. Puritan colony led by John, John Rickwood. Dark water because the dark saves the sea. They believe it was because of the peculiar color of the rocks. Erected the first buildings, among which the Hawkins Manor, the church, and the cemetery. Spoke of nightmares and deviant behaviors. Diary. Volume 4. The pastor declared himself to be the prophet who announced God. His wife tried to reason, but in vain. You have nothing to say about the this? Oh, I guess it's a break-in. Now that I look at it from this angle, it's a little obvious. Okay. Why would somebody break into a bookstore? I mean, I know I've been really wanting books, but not that bad. This goblet is really conspicuous. gradually disappeared from the large shark and dark water. Monster had eaten all the disappeared whales. Soldiers. That's not a good sound. Why would you give me a lantern if I never use it? store owner you have a lot of shit on anatomy ah so this tells me there's another place here so let me hold off on that The Book of Zion is the foundational work behind Helena Blavatsky's theosophical movement. Its followers place truth on the same footing as a religion. Huh. Tibetan writings are the origin of the esoteric movement. I don't know why you've taken out the lamp.
Would I read the book? Hell yeah. What does this strange book contain? This book contains unholy knowledge. Nice. Presents itself as the best theory of the death. Oh cool, I found volume one. Good shit. Anatomy and dissection. More medicine. Great. Where were you when I needed you? Not here. Actually, yeah, you What happened here? Uh you're not gonna let me look around first? Start over. Where did they break in from? There. Blood. Seems like amateur work. Uh huh. And these are the blood stains. Someone tall left his footprint. And A that door is. Nice choice. Ah oh, shit! I missed what he said. Fuck. Somebody is bleeding. Oh no! Can't go in there. That's no good. Okay. So somebody broke in. This all is fine. Nothing here. No sign of struggle. If the burglar smashed this jar, it wasn't intentionally. Huh. Was he hurt then? It could be he was desperate for meds. I don't know. What killed all these animals? Uh... What sort of thief leaves his tools at the crime scene? What happened that made the burglar flee before finishing his work? Oh, maybe that? What the... Charles Hawkins? What uh. sort of power did Sarah Hawkins' painting possess? Sarah Hawkins helped hide something in this safe. Okay. Oh man, my vision is glitching the F out. Drake put in a great deal of effort to hide whatever is in here. Everything is linked to the Sarah Hawkins case. Uh, I don't think there's anything else for me to see in this mode. But I'm just gonna sweep through once more. Oh yeah, no, let's just make shit weird as fuck. Definitely a secret around here.
What link did he find between Charles Hawkins and an old amulet? Kivre. This key bears the elder sign. The, uh... It's the only one able to protect your psyche. His uniform is cylindrical medallion hanging at the end of a heavy chain. Hundreds of years ago, the star in the branch, whose purpose it was to push back the forces of the great old one, turned right to the center. Everything points to it being Charles Hawkins that tore it from its last owner, an Egyptian antique dealer. In press cuttings that mention the misdemeanor, the date of the robbery coincides with the last Hawkins trip to Cairo. Huh. Well, so maybe there's a very bad Is one. everyone on this island taking sleeping pills? Yeah, what the fuck? <laughs> there, that is a lot of prescribing of, of that. Not finding the secret standing up. Oh, hello. A strange amulet. I have a feeling I'd better not touch it. I don't know what it represents, but I might find out when I go to the search in the bookstore. Hmm. Drake left instructions on how to find the combination of his safe. If somebody finds these memoirs, there'll be no doubt that I'm in serious trouble. My last and only hope is that my body and bones are still in this plane of reality in order that they be discovered and burned. The funeral urn must be given to my dear mother. She's still in this world. The following message to capital and demonstrates Cutie Sharp's sharp as mine. Can obtain less than the safe to three cylinders, each hidden where life and study combine in the Greek world. Each cylinder is numbered, even if, as the celebrated author says, orders the pleasure of reason, but disorders the delight of the imagination. A smith usually, reason usually prevails. If by chance a person, or should I say genius, were to match my intellect and find the combination of the safe, it has Armitage of Miskatonic University. Okay. Oh, hello. Uh, so now I gotta go find shit. What are the Greeks know things? Bitch, the Greeks were pretty prolific. They could be anywhere, hun. Uh. You definitely into some shit. Oh my god, hi. Arkham editions. Never heard of them. Prophecies. Nostradamus. Oh, yeah. How many volumes are there in this collection? Opera and eight acts. Another volume by Arkham editions. That's a lot of Arkham editions. Arkham editions. Never heard of them. How many volumes are there in this collection? It would run the contents are controlled by mothers of people in some more prison language. Another volume by Arkham Editions. Oh, I get it. Okay, so these are the numbers, and we have to find the books that correspond with the numbers. Your phonetic contents were controlled by the mother of the people. Arkham editions. Never heard of them. Oh, How many volumes are there in this collection? Corpus. Beliefs. Another volume by Arkham editions. So that's VII. So that's seven. Now, if I'm not wrong. There was cylinders that Drake tried to hide. Oh. I should perhaps listen to them. Uh, well, that was way easier than I thought it was going to be. There was a book that one of the descriptions was repeated. I 
Have I lost my mind? I... I thought... Things are not looking good. Okay. A kind of chalice. Goblet seems to be very ancient. It seems to be made of gold and decorated with real precious stones. It is a Cthulhu game. Losing your mind is sensible. It's fair. A kind of chalice. Wait, there's... There's... There's shenanigans with this. One, two, three. Oh, maybe it's just there. I thought the scratches were somewhere in particular, but I think it's just... I think it's just chilling. Let's do the first and one. And these red drops, like precious stones, lie fixed, set in divine gold. To be the guardian of the grail does not protect me from its attractions, Henry. And I do confess it. I am willing to pay to know its secrets. Can you and these me? red drops, like precious stones, lie fixed, set in divine gold. Mm. To be the guardian of the grail does not protect me from its attractions, Henry. And I do confess it. I am willing to pay to know its secrets. I finally understood that we were only pieces on the chessboard of the gods. Let those of us who are still standing protect our white queen from their dark soldiers. I see our number dwindling, and my will strengthens as my apprehension grows. We shall refuse to be the playthings of destiny. So, chalice, chess... Dear friend, I thank you again for the anthology of the works of Arkham editions that you sent me. Okay. Uh, volume 9, Azathoth and Other Horrors, seemed particularly relevant to my research. I never tire of browsing through them. 9. So... The Queen has little protection. I don't know what you want me to take from that. The Chalice of Knowledge. If something is supposed to be jumping out at me, it's not jumping out at me. So these are the volumes that Drake was talking about in his message. We're looking for volume What nine. did Drake say about this collection? Drake talked about a particular volume. Yes, I'm on it. So sir. these are the volumes that Drake was talking What did Drake say about this collection? Eight. Drake talked about a particular nine. volume. So these are the volumes that Drake was talking about Four. in his message. Sun, Su, Leo, T, Where's, where's the, where, where is the? What did Drake say about this collection? He said volume nine. Volume nine is not here. I saw every other volume. Queen has little protection. I know what Drake said. It's just oil. Am I missing something? Well, yes, I'm missing something. What am I missing? So. Drake talked about a particular volume. This, this one. Okay. Nightmare lyrics. Drew was 18 years old. Luxurious. Hmm. 
It's like the ninth one. IX is nine, right? So these are the volumes that Drake was talking about in his message. Sure. The Queen has little protection. Dear friend, I thank you again for the anthology, dear friend. I thank you again for the anthology of the works of Arkham yeah. editions that you sent me. Yeah, IX is nine. Uh, volume nine, Azathoth and other horrors, seemed particularly relevant to my research. I never tire of browsing through them. Azathoth and other horrors. Well, that's definitely not what I picked up. Azathoth and other horrors. What did Drake say about this collection? Drake talked about a particular volume. So these are the volumes that Drake was talking What did Drake say about this collection? Drake talked about a particular volume. So these are the volumes that Drake was talking What did Drake say about this collection? Drake talked about a particular volume. So these are the volumes that Drake was talking about What did Drake say about this collection? Drake talked about a particular So these are the volumes that Drake was this talking is, okay, about in his yeah, message. Okay, so yes, that is the one. I wish you didn't talk for every damn book. Okay. Azathoth and other horrors. <sighs> okay, great. But are you gonna have some sort of epiphany? Queen has little protection. I don't. Is it four? We're trying to find a, a something for the safe. Okay, so for the chessboard, four. So put two four in chat. The Chalice of Knowledge. Okay. One, two, three, four, five. So five, four, nine, maybe? Oh, wait, maybe it was... Maybe it was three. I counted the queen when I shouldn't have. Well, that's a big ass book. Sure, that's exactly what it is. 
Black Institute again. Covered in human skin. His mind was projected into another body. What the fuck? Wait, was Riverside Institute where we were before? Was it another institute? Either way, I think I'm gonna have to call it here. We got two chapters done, which is not bad. Yeah, either near Mahjong tomorrow. I've got a I've got a date tomorrow. I've got to go in and do some lab work. It's a busy week for me. It's gonna be busy. Next Dr. Colden, this man's condition is deteriorating. What says Dr. Fuller? It's his patient after all. Uh, he he's busy with Captain Fitzroy. He specifically asked us not to bother him when that's the case. Oh, of course. I'll see what I can do. Mr. Blake, can you hear me? I'm Dr. Colden. We'll take care of you. There's nothing we can do. I tried talking to him. He's catatonic. Very well. I'll examine him. 30-year-old subject. Severe hypothermia. Like Erythematous papules around the eyes and eardrums. Necrosed palupal tissue. Lord, this smell. His skin shows abnormal loss of color and seems dried out. He's totally dehydrated. His fingertips and toes seem to feature a slight ring under the skin. Tender at the touch. Slightly sticky. Severe malnutrition. Swollen abdomen with traces of petechia. Huh. Doesn't seem like an edema. Slight protuberances seem to indicate the presence of a foreign body. So, Doctor, an opinion? I'm not sure I have the necessary knowledge to treat this man. Don't say that. You're our most worthy doctor, after Dr. Fuller. Some of his symptoms are beyond my comprehension. What did you find? I see signs of hypodermoclysis, but he's still dehydrated. When was his last IV? He's constantly under perfusion. I've even gone beyond the recommended dose to no avail. Hmm. And you won't believe me, but... When we bathed him earlier... He seemed to feel better? Yes. Like he needs an aquarium, not a perfusion. But that doesn't explain his condition. In spite of the muscle contractions, his arms seem limp. Yes. They can't have decalcified, not at this rate. And yet, if there is a bone in this arm, it's softer than that of a newborn baby. What about his cranium? It's soft at the touch. It does seem like the skull of a baby. Hmm. Look at these sticky rings growing at his fingertips. What can be happening? I'm sure you'll find an explanation. You have to. Did you examine his abdomen? It would seem there's something inside. He hasn't eaten in days. Are you certain it's not an edema? No. Can't you recognize an edema? Pushing with your finger won't leave a trace. And look at these bumps. <laughs> it's not like he could be pregnant. Mm. Whatever it is, this man has something inside him that shouldn't be there. We should operate on him at once. Dr. Fuller said not to worry, that the edema would go away by itself. You know, I'm not sure Dr. Fuller is telling the truth. I think Dr. Fuller's full of shit. I almost don't believe it myself, but these symptoms 
are not those usually associated with the human species. What do you mean? Don't tell me you believe in extraterrestrials. No. This poor man is from our world, all right. But his body is undergoing unnatural mutations. That's not how mutations And this work. transformation is killing him. His body simply can't cope. Where could he have gotten such an infection? I pray that it's not here. Dr. Colden, may I know what you're doing to my patient? What I'm doing? How about what you've done to him? Let us calm down, my dear Marie. I don't appreciate your tone, nor your insinuations. I've done to him what I do to all my patients. Provide him with the best available care. Your imagination is without limit. It's your homemade drug again, is it not? Those people are not your guinea pigs. There, there. What have you seen to put you in such a state? These symptoms are very concerning. These are alarming symptoms. If we don't act, he'll die. Do you believe that? I'm not as convinced, you see. I even think this man has a strong chance of completely healing from his ailments. No, Doctor. This patient isn't himself anymore. He's dying. Really? What do you mean by isn't himself? He's changing. His physical characteristics, they are more animal than human now. Fascinating. An animal, you say? Could you be more precise? Cephalopod, perhaps. This amuses you. Why did you react to octopus? Us. I know your thirst for knowledge, Doctor. It's your innocent worries for this man that have you overreacting. For this man and the others whose medical files you've been hiding. I have to protect my discovery. These people owe me their life, but the world isn't ready yet. It will be in time. I will not let you do this. You disappoint me, Marie, but I still have hope you'll one day share my point of view. In the meantime, take care of your own patients and try not to forget who you're dealing with. Was that a threat? What did he mean? It was a warning. Dr. Fuller is this institution's founder and one of our profession's most influential voices. My word is of no weight against his. There are Aren't if a lot I continue of to protest, the with an I will only owner, ruin my reputation and career. Oh, yes. It's scandalous. Can't we do anything? Is there no evidence of his crimes? Oh, that evidence exists. I'm sure of it. I need to find the missing medical files. And where would you find those? in his office. What if you get caught? I'd rather not think about that. I'm counting on your discretion. Of course, Doctor. You can count on me. I'll keep Mum. I keep skipping dialogue options. see if I can start the chapter over. Wait, I think I... Ah, fuck.
not shite. Okay. Yeah, alright. We'll just have to live without those lines. I'm sure there are people who do better playthroughs than me. <sighs> that sucks. There's no... Nah. Don't say that. Oh. It's, it's sweet of you. Yeah, I skipped dialogue options. I'm sorry, chat. I didn't realize that that was plot. <laughs> we enjoy you for you. You know, in September, what is this, 2022? 17, 18, 19, 20, 29, 22. In, in September 2022, I'll have been doing this for five years, and I still can't wrap my head around that concept. I... I do my best. I, I try to do my best. Um, and that means a lot. Thank you. Um... I, I'm, I know for a fact that I am not the, the, the most polished streamer. Um, I'm certainly not the biggest by my own volition. Um, I mean, look at what we do to newcomers. Um, <laughs> we shoot them in the face. But for those who are there, I, it matters a lot to me that you guys still enjoy the content. <laughs> So, thank you for that. But I got work tomorrow, so I gotta, I gotta bounce. Um, but in the meantime, sacrifice the newcomers to the Eldritch Lords. <laughs> You're not wrong. You're not wrong. I don't know. I, I like, I like the sort of cultish <laughs> insularity we have going on. It's just banned for the band gods. <laughs> uh, water. Water. <laughs> You're not wrong. <laughs> You're so spot on, man. It, it's Yup, you you understand the culture here. Uh you understand it very well. God, how long have you been here? I feel like you've you've been in the community for a while. When when were you followed? Oh, in twenty nineteen. Oh damn. Yeah, you have been here for a minute. Yeah, you've been here for a bit. You you joined when the community left its dark ages and actually started being pleasant to work on <laughs> uh you you joined at probably the best time uh yeah you joined just before what i would say is the golden age i remember a drunk game of pirate smiles and among us i do remember that that was amazing we ought to do among us again we gotta do a vip in mod night again I gotta figure out when to, when to do that. Pirate Smiles was amazing though. I thoroughly enjoyed that. Ah. But those are things to look forward to to another evening. The future holds bright things and uncertain futures. But so long as there are some bright things like water it makes it all worth it in the meantime do not eat or drink any questionable substances make smart decisions to not die dying is absolutely forbidden and I will see all of you wonderful people 
at a later time. Take care, guys.